This is just another phone I'm hoping for a silicon carbon version of at some point in the future. Samsung, please. But like I said, this one was actually close. There were a bunch of other foldables that I saw and one other one that I actually daily drove this year uh, for an extended period of time and it was, it was this one, the Pixel 10 Pro Fold. And this one is really nice, again, not because it's the thinnest thing in the world, uh, but while using it closed, it's basically all the goodness of just a regular Pixel 10 Pro. But again, it is a little thicker, so not as fun to hold and use closed, despite having all the great software. Uh, silicon carbon battery version again, <laughs> maybe, would be nice. Um, and I also will give a shout out to the Z Flip 7 for the same reasons that I talked about earlier, which made it a good small phone, you can actually use it closed. So the outside cover screen, the 4.1 inch corner to corner, you can triage notifications and do all sorts of full-time stuff out there. And then of course, use it as a regular full-size phone open. But yeah, other foldables did individual really interesting things as far as like minimizing the crease or you know actually having a silicon carbon battery. But as far as the overall package, I'm happy with my picks. Also, in case you're wondering, the Samsung Galaxy Z Trifold, the triple folding one, it got announced this year, but it's really coming out next year. So I think we'll just make it eligible for the 2026 awards.